I Beautiful. Good.
go through the side. For the ceremony? Yeah. So this is where the reception takes place. So we're going to go to the side of the church. Today mm. we are the venue. We are the venue. We are the venue. We are the venue. We are here. We are here. We are, here. We are, in, uh, we are outside. We are coming. I beg, take me.
also appreciate everyone that has made the effort to be here. I, I know it means a lot to um, the couple and to the family. And I'd like to invite um, Bishop, oh, Pastor Efezino, to come and give us the opening prayer. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. We thank God for everyone. Let us pray. Thank God for Orezi and Fad. Father, we thank you, Almighty God, for this wonderful day. This is the day you have designed for your son and your daughter to receive all the blessings of heaven. We thank you, Almighty God, that you will touch their lives as they've come with joy, parents, friends, relatives, and all their well-wishers all over the world. Lord, we ask that your hand of blessing will rest heavily upon them. And all the celebrants, that there will be a rising in their lives. That their lives will continue to go from glory to glory, strength to strength, joy to joy, favor to favor, goodness to goodness. And all the marriages that are here today, as they say their vows, those marriages will also be blessed. Those that are not good, they will become good. Amen. Because Orezi and Fowl has brought blessings. May their life forever be shining and be glorious. We thank you for ascending their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 We love one another. For love comes from God. Anyone who is loved is a child of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God. For God is known. God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. No one has ever seen God, but if we love each other, God lives in us, and his love is brought to full expression. of God, as his blessings enable them to love and to support each other in prosperity and in adversity. As a man and woman grow together in love and in trust, they are united with one another in heart, in body, and in mind, as Christ is united with his bride, the church. It is a way of life made holy by God and our Lord Jesus Christ, honor those celebrating wedding at Cana in Galilee by his presence, also performing his first miracle there. The gift of marriage brings husband and wife together in the delight and tenderness of sexual union and joyful commitment to one another. A solemn, public and lifelong covenant between a man and a woman declared and celebrated in the presence of God and before witnesses. No one should enter into it lightly or selfishly, but reverently and responsibly. In the presence of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of Fuad and Orizemena Vanessa, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy, and to celebrate their love. We pray with them that the Holy Spirit will guide and strengthen them that they may fulfill God's purposes for the whole of their earthly life together. And so we're going to make some declarations. Um, Toby, we need your help. Um, Orezi and Fuad, they're going to make some um, But before we get to it, I'm required to ask if anyone present knows the reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. Or forever hold your peace.
Why does that feel? Okay, so I'm gonna. This is the second mic. to be your wife according to God's law, will you comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Can we, can we give a round of applause? <laughs> Oresimina, Vanessa, will you take Fuad Adini to be your husband according to God's laws? Will you love him? Will you obey him, comfort him, honor him, and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? You have to hear it. I do. Let's give him a round of applause. It's not a small thing to get the I do of your father. So we must appreciate it and give honor to who honor is due. Now we're going to take the vows. For Adeni and Orizem to join hands and make your vows in the presence of God and these persons present. So, so we're going to repeat after me. Starting from Fuad. I, Fuad Adeni. I, Fuad Adeni. Take you, Orizemena Vanessa. Take you, Orizemena Vanessa. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, to till death do us part. To death us do part. Sorry. To death us do part. Do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God and these persons present, I make this vow. In the presence of God and these persons present, I make this vow. And you're going to repeat after me. I, Oresimena, Vanessa, take you for Adeni, take you for Adeni, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death us do part. According to God's holy law, according to God's holy law, in the presence of God, in the presence of God, and these persons present, I make this vow. And these persons present, I make this vow. Yes. Amen. Are we clap for that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God has put together, let no one put asunder. Let their love for each other 
be a seal upon their hearts and a crown upon their heads. Bless their life together in their work and in their companionship. Finally, in your mercy, bring them to that banquet where your saints feast forever in your heavenly home. We ask this in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I think we can do better than that. If we're clapping, if we're clapping, let's clap. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully grant you the riches of his grace, that you may please you may please him both in body and in soul, that you living together in faith and in love may receive the blessings of eternal life. Amen. 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 So we're going to have the second reading now, and it's going to be taken by Holy. Patience and encouragement help you live in complete harmony with each other, as for fitting for followers of Christ Jesus. That all of you can join together with one voice, giving praise and glory to God, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So we're going to take the hymn to God be the glory. Can we rise as we take the hymn? Genesis 2 verse 24 it said man shall leave his father 
and mother and be joined to his wife and they shall become one flesh. Hoping that this verse is just for the man alone. So that his baby girl can still stay at home. But unfortunately, unfortunately, one flesh means that both must be father and mother. And key to themselves. God knows every father's fears. Um, every father wants their daughter to get married. But as much as they want their daughter to get married, they dread the day. Am I right? But the father is here. All sorts of thoughts come to your mind. Who's going to take care of her? Who's going to look out for her? They, they, they dread the day that they become the second man in their daughter's life. But God knows your fears and he has provided a solution to your fears. Someone that will always be by her side. Someone that will protect her and seek the best for her just like you do in ways that perhaps maybe you cannot. And so I want to celebrate Mr. Malaka for honoring his daughter, honoring for her, and letting go. So we thank you. Married to, I've been there. My, my, my little sister got married and uh, it was harder than I thought. Though they're not gone, but they're, they're not, it's not the same. Don't worry, she's in good hands. So for Fuad and, and for Rezi, um, like I said, weddings are fun, but more importantly, weddings are really an opportunity. Um, and, and they're an opportunity to reveal Christ. Um, God created marriage, and, and so marriage can't happen outside of Him. And Ephesians 5 verse 25, it says, Husbands, love your wives, seek the highest good for her, and surround her with caring, unselfish love, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her. So, for her, you have to love your wife as, as Christ loved the church. In verse 28, it says, Even so, husbands should and are morally obligated to love their own wives as being, in a sense, their own bodies. He who loves has ever hated his own body, but instead he nourishes and pro protects and cherishes it, just as Christ does the church. However, each man among you, without exception, is to love his wife as his very own, with behavior worthy of respect and esteem. All and so what we're asking you to do here for her, as witnesses, is to love already, like we said, as Christ loved the church. How did Christ love the church? By dying for the church. Um, and this sounds daunting, but it, it's, it's, it's only daunting if it's gone outside of Christ. Um, the, the kind of pra the love that Christ gave um, could only be done with him. Giving your life for someone you love is, is one thing, but giving your life for someone that you love but doesn't love you in return, actually hates you in return, is quite a different thing. The unconditional love that only Christ could give. And that's the love that we're asking you to give to already today. And henceforth. That's the way Christ loved the church. Whether he deserves it or not, because we know that sometimes is deserved and sometimes it's not, but we're asking to respect all the same. We're asking you to delight in Fuad. We're asking you to notice him, to prefer him, and to hold him dear. Amen? Amen. 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 Um, and, and lastly, I want to just um, encourage you. I know we, we've been through this process, and I think one thing that this process has enhanced is the ability to be vulnerable and we've seen how you guys have increased in your vulnerability towards each other um, talking about difficult things 
addressing difficult matters, difficult. And sometimes we're quiet, we'll go home, and we'll wake up, me and my wife wake up at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and we'll be talking about the things that we've unearthed and uncovered. made when kings were anointed. It represented something that was lasting, eternally lasting. When people made covenant, and that's what you've done today, they will bring salt. There's salt in this pouch and the salt in this pouch. I'm going to give them to you. Now what I want you to do is you're going to take salt from your pouch and you're going to take salt from your pouch it in her pouch and she'll put hers in yours. Make sure you get a lot of salt. Not a pinch. Put them out. Now put it in there. Okay. Tie it together properly. And then shake it together. And you're wondering what did we just do? What you just did is this. Listen, girl. The day you can go and collect all the salt that you put in her pouch. And you can collect the, the salt that you put in his pouch. That's the day you can say, you cannot be married. But since you can, you are forever hitched. Praise God. No father or mother can help you with this. Now, both of you have to work at it. I bless you with wisdom, with knowledge, with understanding. The Word of God says that that's how a house is built, established, and furnished. May you receive supernatural grace in every area of your life. Let no man, let no woman, let no demonic force separate you. But from this day, by the confirmation of the word of God, may grace abound towards you. May God elevate you. 
that God calls you to experience supernatural speed. That you may live fulfilled in every area of your life. May the light of God shine in your path. You will not stumble. You will rise beyond measure. By the authority of the word of the living God. May the wine of God's favor rest upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare this day. That you will have your table filled with your own family. Amen. You will see your children grow. Amen. And your children's children. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The God who did the first miracle in the wedding of Cana. By destroying the power of lack. May that God present here. Destroy every form of lack off of your life in Jesus' mighty name. May the God of heaven rebuke the devourer for your sake. Because this day, your hands will not be empty. It is filled with the abundance of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, every satanic agenda is destroyed. And favor Amen. is upon you both. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I bless you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I bless you. Amen. I bless your children. Amen. I bless your business. Amen. I bless everything that you do. Amen. To the glory of God. Amen. 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 God bless you. In town. Mr. and Mrs. Fuad Adinuda. Yeah. One more time. Mr. and Mrs. Fuad Adinuda. Yeah. Congratulations, guys. So we're going to be. Yes. By. Yes. By Bishop Ethesium. Let us pray. Father, we celebrate this young couple. And we celebrate everyone that has come to witness this very special time. We bless them. And because of them, let every marriage in this place be blessed today. Amen. As they march forth out of this place, may they march into your favors, your peace, your prosperity. And may everyone that follows after them step into that same grace and glory. In Jesus' name, be blessed and be highly favored of the Lord. Amen. 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 Let's give the Lord a round of applause. Please go. I am out of this world.
Formula 5, where you at? Farid. Red aunties, all the big aunties. 